Hello everyone, it's me, Simon H. Encinares. Hello, Mom Formanes, and to my classmates. We are back for another video lesson. In today's discussion, I'll be discussing Martin Heidegger, the question concerning technology. The concept I'll be presenting is a bit confusing. That is why you have to listen attentively as we go through this topic. Okay, listen up and let's go further. Uh, today, when we talk of technology, we instantly think of the of the tools that are integrated into our everyday routines and essentially there to make life easier. On your screen, you can see cell phone, laptop, washing machine, microwave, and tablet. These are some of the things that we usually use for our daily activities. We think of a technology as means to an end or instrumental as well as human activity or anthropological. We're going to discover what exactly technology is in Martin Heidegger concerning technology. For you to decipher this concept, I'm going to make it short and easy to comprehend. As what I have said earlier, we define technology as the means to an end, otherwise known as instrumental, and a human activity known as anthropological. The question is, is this statement or, de or definition enough for Heidegger? You probably agreed the definition is correct, technically correct, but not adequate enough to define what technology really is. So, in order to fully comprehend, we need to have a free relationship to it. We need to have a free relationship with technology. And we will discuss exactly what Heidegger means by that later on. It is, it is also important that in the Heidegger world, that we do not do technology the way we think of it currently, which are instrumentums or tools or aids, but instead we are seeking technologies essence we are seeking technology's essence it is valuable for heidegger and for and also for us that we know that technology does not equal to technology's essence when we discover technology's essence we discovered the commonality that all technologies share of course we will not we will not find technology's essence if we think conceptually but rather we need to approach this metaphysically so heidegger move away from this heidegger moves away from this idea of instrumental versus anthropological and now we dig deeper into his philosophical idea whenever there's an effect there is a cause. Technology isn't instrumentum. So whenever instrumentality reigns, there reigns causality, otherwise known, otherwise known as the four causes. Heidegger uses the silver chalice as an example in explaining these causes. So first we have the costa materialis, the material or the matter or the material of which it is made. And in this case, we have the silver. Secondly, the cosa formalis, the logos or form structure in which it is shaped. In this case, the chalice curve form. Thirdly, the cosa efficiency or the process it brings about what is made. In this case, the silver smith. And the last but not the least, the fourth cost to cause a uh, penalis, the final effect and the reason of why it is made. Okay. When these four elements work together to create something into appearance, it is called bringing forth. Okay. Bringing forth comes from the Greek word poesis which brings out of concealment into unconcealment. When we say unconcealed, it is no longer hidden. You can see it, you can touch it. This revealing is represented by aletheia, which is equivalent to truth. Therefore, 
technology is a mode of revealing the truth. And the truth has everything to do with the essence of technology. But, modern technology is a different case. According to Heidegger, Puesis does not apply here. Puesis does, does not apply to this because it is based on modern physics as an exact science. Therefore, the revealing of modern technology is not bringing forth but rather challenging forth. Modern technology goes beyond causality. How is modern technology any different? This is one of the fundamental questions that Heidegger tries to find an answer to. How is modern technology any different? There is something very distinctive about modern technology. Of course, there is a revealing in modern technology according to Heidegger. These are always a revealing that never comes to an end. Challenging port. In other words, we use and manipulate resources that nature gives to us to manufacture, to create, or reveal technology that is man-made. This is very clear that the revealing in modern technology is not bringing port, but rather challenging port. What Heidegger is trying to point out here is that the environment suffer a lot because we always want to benefit from nature. We challenge just resources, exactly. Now, this is where it gets tricky. Heidegger often uses the term stand or the standing reserve to essentially describe how people perceive resources. People no longer see them for what they actually are, but instead see them differently. Okay? Okay, you can see the picture on your screen. We have the Rhine River. Uh, these are two photos of Rhine River. Yes, there you go. The first picture showing the natural physical characteristic of Rhine River. Meanwhile, the second photo showing what humans did for their sake without even thinking about its effect to the environment. Therefore, humans see Rhine River as a standing reserve. Another term Heidegger frequently uses is gestel or imprimming. We challenge and see things as standing reserves because we're constantly imprimming everything around us. Imprimming means gathering together of that setting upon that sets upon man i.e. challenges him for to reveal the real in the mode of ordering as a standing reserve. Imprimming means, so when we imprame, we unconceal the standing reserve. We lose sight of the things that do not fit in the standing reserve category back into concealment. When we imprame as humans, we always do how nature should fit with us instead of doing how we fit with nature. We are very narcissistic in general. Heidegger says that instead of allowing nature to give us the things we need, we imprint and take its resources for granted and appropriate them as a standing reserve. Imprinting is the essence of modern technology. It is very frightening that uh, the fact that uh, humans seem like blind about what they do. When imprinting reigns, there is danger in the highest sense. Yes, exactly. This is the time to realize that how we act put the world in danger. How we act put humanity in danger. The more we imprint things, the more we acknowledge and allow danger. High danger was implying that technology can work against us. We cannot escape the fate of technology. So, we must question technology. Heidegger also infers that since imprinting is a way of revealing, 
So people also have the power to save. We must question how to use technology without hurting the world around us. When we do this, we will have a free relationship with technology. This world needs you. Once again, I am Simon H. Encinares, and these are my members, Algio Mindina, Jessa Cortis, Dani Kahanaban, Maria Balaishaw. I would like to say thank you to G.U. Mendina and Jessa Cortis for contributing a lot para sa report na ito. Thank you so much and uh, thank you for listening.